So this little guy right here, uh, he goes down here behind this timing chain cover. Yup. So there's two possibilities because I know I ordered doubles of some stuff. There's a chance that it's in there. I just forgot that I put it in there. The chance that it's not in there. And this is the guy right here that needs to go in there. Um, like I said, I did have doubles because I did have doubles oil pump chain. And I might have ordered some that one too as part of it. Uh, so there might be one in there. I'm trying to see if I can check somehow with the camera or something. If not, this has to come off, uh, which kind of sucks. <sighs> it's going to be a mess. So let's just get right into it. All right. So there, as you guys can see, uh, there's that, the, I forgot what they're called, but the timing chain and all that good stuff. There's that little notch and it's not there. It's supposed to be in there after that. And I don't think it is. So we have to take off the timing cover, put this on, reseal it. And this wasn't the, this wasn't the video for today. This was not the video for today. This is not what I had planned. I had other things planned to install to get further along with the build, but we just took, we're having to take a step back. Uh, it's just something that happens, you know, I'm only human. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything off, disassemble everything and get right to it. All right, so as I was right, there's nothing right there no post plate it's a crank post plate i'm not exact it has something obviously to do with the crank but i don't know exactly um what it does or what goes on luckily this shows this is on the supposed to be on the outside so i'm gonna go ahead and just and it has a little notch so you can't get it wrong it literally slides in there voila I tried to clean up all the gasket stuff that's right there and I'm gonna go get gasket and maker because I need some so I can reseal this bitch back up and put it back together and then continue on hopefully with our day um like I said this was not planned but we got that in there now so I'm I feel much more happy about that because I'm not sure what would have happened if I didn't have that in there but we got it in there so we're good to go let's go all right, so we're back. I got and went and got the gasket maker. Yes, it's not Honda Bond, unfortunately, but we got gasket maker because I need it. I need to put this back together. It's all back together. We got it. So let's continue on with what we're gonna do. Put on the intake manifold. I'm gonna take that off. Put on the intake manifold. I'm gonna fit it on there. Put it on. Have the gaskets and everything for it. Put it on there, and we'll see where we go from there. But. Maybe put on the clutch and the adapter plate. We won't get the transmission in today. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know, we will see. But let's go ahead and put all this together here. All right, we came in, ran into our second problem. Um, so these bolts, those the ones you see right there. Boom, 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 boom. Here it is. So it doesn't fit. It's too long, unfortunately. And they gotta sit in those little holes. You see that little hole right there? They gotta sit in there, they don't fit. So I thought, oh, I had another one. Maybe it'd work out just a little bit smaller, but still didn't work out. So now I need to try to figure something out to cut these down and then it'll go in. For now, I don't know what to do because I have nothing to cut this bolt. Which fucking sucks today. It's just not. It's just not going the way it's. It's. I want it to go. I thought I was gonna get a lot of progress, but we're getting stumped by things here and there, which really does suck a lot. So check it out. This is the smallest one I have, and it's just. It's not doing it. It's not. It's like so close, but it's not enough, unfortunately. 
Woo. All right, after I was able to do it, you guys, I was able to do it. I was able to grind some down. I got a grinder and then I got a little other little grinder to help me grind down the bolts to like smooth them out. And it worked. It all worked out. Hell yeah, they're on there now. So let's go ahead and put on the manifold. update on the version 3.0 of this f20 intake manifold to fit this k series so it doesn't fit direct on as you guys saw in my last video we got to cut over here and then i tried putting it on right now as you guys saw and this little piece was blocking off so i had to cut it off it doesn't go into the manifold don't worry it stops right there so i cut it off and now it fits perfect so let's put it on all right more problems yeah what's what's without them i think the only thing we're installing today is this because holy fuck dude okay came into another problem well first i got a concern of how my throttle body is gonna fit right here as you guys can see it's gonna fit but i need to see how it's gonna fit because i don't know how it's gonna fit so that's for another day but over here i don't know you won't be able to tell much but my this this hole right here isn't lining up with the plate right here this plate is not like right it's like too i don't know how i could say the hole's too down so i have to make it bigger i'm gonna take this off take off the plate make the hole bigger and then go from there i'm gonna make sure all the other holes lined up before i do that so that way if i need to make them bigger i'll make them bigger all right guys so i'm able to get the manifold on and it's good but there's these two holes over here that one and the one underneath that one that are just being really 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 stubborn um i gotta make the holes bigger and i need a bigger drill bit my drill bit's not big enough to get that open so i'm gonna leave it like that for now i am gonna <sighs> i'm like really tired i've been working on this all day um just modifying this making it fit to this it's a lot of cutting and stuff mainly cutting a lot of cutting and shaving that i had to do today um for now i'm gonna leave it like this and then I will, um, I'm gonna probably put on the clutch plate and the other stuff just now, just to have it on there while it's here. I have everything that I need to have it on here right now. So I'm gonna get to doing that. So there's a couple things that I am forgetting that I can't even touch the transmission or nothing, which is the little, the little spindle lining tool that you need in order to put the, to put the lineup, the, the spines with the flywheel and the transmission and so i can't even touch it because i forgot the tool at home um so i'm gonna stop here for right now and we'll get back to it tomorrow all right guys so we're back so i just lifted up the car even higher because now we're gonna be hopefully we're installing transmission today i need to find i think i have the bolts i'm not exactly sure for the transmission amount up to the engine i have the adapter plate and everything as you know but we will see let's just get a move on with it so this is the tool that you need in order to put the clutch and the uh, the flywheel and the clutch into the transmission so it can line it up with the splines, which I'm going to do right now. All right, guys, so we're under the car. One thing that I got to do is replace this rear main oil seal. So I'm going to try to take this off and then put on the new one. Hopefully I have a new one. I think I have a new one. All right, so I was able to get the old one out. It didn't take much. Uh, so now I do have a new one. So we're gonna take that out and just put it on. Like, so I don't think there, I mean, there is a certain way, but it's like an outside inside. Oh shit, okay, let me just put it on. Cause I was up here messing up all the little grease they put on. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. I need to mallet it in more. So I got my handy dandy mallet. I'm just gonna head down the side, you know, not too crazy, not too crazy, just something light, something light. It's gotta be like pretty flush with the, uh, just going around, hitting it, I'm doing anything crazy. All right, you guys, after so much, I finally got it on. Actually, had I couldn't. I went to I went to O'Reilly's. I went to AutoZone, and I went to Harbor Freight to find a thin wall socket. Couldn't find one, so I had to grind the one I had down, and it worked out perfectly. So we're able to get the 
flywheel clutch and then or yeah flywheel on the clutch and then the shit bearing all that bullshit i forgot the fucking names of these shits but anyways uh, let me see if i do the transmission today or i don't know maybe save it for next time i'm just like Egh. at this point it's been so so much uh, this comes in so clutch <laughs> um this floor this floor jack for the transmission is sick as fuck uh oh jeez but uh let's get this bad boy on Whew. Whew. i'm gonna clean her up all right so i got the transmission in but you guys wanna see some sketchy ass shit oh my god so I had to do this to get the transmission from under with the with the little fucking cat fucking bullshit fucking jack. I put the wheel under there just in case. But I finally got in there. I was struggling with this for at least 30, 45 minutes. And I finally got in here. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna not gonna mount it right now. I'm just gonna leave it as is, as long as it's in there already. Ready to go. And yeah, I'm gonna bring the car down. I'm gonna wrap it up for now. So yeah. The next thing to go on is the transmission. We got the intake manifold done this week. And some of the clutch and all that flywheel and all that good stuff. The transmission's going in next week, like I said. And don't worry, those blocks, the car's not on it. It's on the jack over there. I just have those blocks as like, I don't know, a precaution. It's a bit, it got messy. It got really, really messy. The reason I have the car this high up is because the the shifter is like, it's not going into the hole. So I'm gonna have to lift up the transmission and guide it and try to get it into that hole um, before I even bring the car more down. So that's a concern of mine. So we will see where we go with that. Let me see if you guys can see it actually. You know how it's, it's like, it'll hit. Let's see, focus. So I don't know if you, I mean, it's hard to see, but you see how it'll hit right there. It's not lining up with the hole. So I have to get it, cause this is an inch further out. The flywheel and all that makes it an inch further out than it originally was. So I have to, so we will see, we'll see. I, I know I'll be able to do it cause I'm always able to do it. Cause I did it and I done it. So, but for now, this is where we're at. The transmission is ready to rock and roll. All right, guys. Other than that, thank y'all for watching. Peace out. See you in the next one.